why the fuck doesn't this game have full screen? Hey, what's up, what's happening guys? You know who it is and you know what it's about, so let's get right into the video! Pokemon Uranium version! This thing has been in the making for nine years. It's a fan-made game and everything in it is original. It is so cool. So it's based off of like Fire Red and those sort of games, but all the Pokemon are original. Every single one of the Pokemon. Okay, let me just quickly chuck up my screen size because it's a little small. And okay, so we're done here. Let's save and exit and let's just jump right into it. Huh? Who is it? Oh, hello there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Bambo. Uh, but if you find that hard to pronounce, you can just call me the Pokemon Professor. Fair enough. You're the kid who's applying for a job, right? Sure am. Great! Want the lowdown on what you'll be doing? Nah, I think we'll be fine. No info needed. Oh, hello there. We humans share this world with creatures known as Pokemon. More than mere animals, Pokemon possess a astonishing power and remarkable intelligence. People and Pokemon coexist in many ways. Some Pokemon are kept as pets, others help us with work, and still others are used in battle by trainers such as yourself. <laughs> Did anyone just see that? He left his eyes behind him. <laughs> oh, that's actually a really cool thing to mention as well. So, the reason it's called Pokemon Uranium is because there's this new type of Pokemon and it's radioactive. So, that's pretty cool. Who are you? Well, the others look like girls, and this is the only boy, so I'm gonna go with the boy. <sighs> Tumblrinas, I know the one in the middle is gender neutral, please don't hang me. Yes, I'm sure. I'd like to know your name, please tell me. My name is Harrison. Wow! Apparently my name's too long, thanks a lot, Pokemon Uranium. Let's just go with attack. Yes. Attack, are you ready? Sure am. Alrighty. Ten years ago, Attack's family lived in Beale Beach City, the largest city in Tandor. Okay, that's pretty cool. Their father, Kellen, was a brave and talented Pokemon Ranger. Their mother, Lucille, was a brilliant scientist and expert on nuclear energy. Although they work demanding jobs, they always found time to spend at home with Young Attack. Aww. The Tandor region was at peace and Lucille's company was working on a form of clean energy that would change the world. The future seemed bright until... Dot, dot, dot. It was an ordinary day at the nuclear power plant where Lucille worked. As part of a routine inspection, they brought in a specialist to take a look at the electrical system. Cameron, have you finished your diagnostics? Yes, I have. Everything seems to be working perfectly. This generator you designed really does its job well, Lucille. Excellent. If everybody has finished their work, we'll break for lunch. Uh, boss? Eh, hey, boss? <laughs> you might want to take a look at this. Strange. The temperature readings are far higher than normal. Oh no. Either we need to reset the thermometer, or dot dot dot, the reactor is leaking a massive amount of heat. Oh no, that's never good. It can't be the thermometer. I just checked that. So, dot dot dot, oh shit. There must be a breach in the reactor. At this temperature, in just a few minutes, we'll have a total meltdown. Oh shit, get them real. Everybody needs to evacuate now. Oh shit, shit. Lucille, you have to leave too! Dot dot dot. What's she doing? What's she doing? Lucille! Shit just went down, boys. With Cameron's help, all of the scientists were able to escape unscathed. Except Lucille. Oh no. She was never seen again after that day. The radiation leaking from the broken reactor made the surrounding area unhabitable for many years foiling any attempt to try and search for her. Sounds a bit like Chernobyl. The loss of his wife had a profound effect on Kellen. Aww, his personality changed. He became cold and dedicated to his job. 
in time, he got promoted to Chief of the Tandor Pokemon Rangers. That's pretty cool. However, he became too busy to care for his child. Oh, what a dick. So young Attack was sent to live with their elderly auntie in Moki Town. Okay, let's go and see auntie. Ten years passed. Auntie's health waned. Oh no. Supporting a child was too much work for her. Poor thing. Fortunately, Ernest Bambo, the local Pokemon professor, was looking for a research assistant. Two kids from Moki Town applied. Attack from their childhood... Oh, sorry, and their childhood friend, Theo. Okay. It was common for youths of a certain age to receive a Pokemon and travel the region as a Pokemon trainer. And so Attack's journey began. Let's jump right into it. Attack, come downstairs. You are late. Oh, no, I'm late. Well, well, let me check out my room first because that's important. It's more important than being on time. What's this? Can we interact with it? Oh, wait, no, that's the menu. What about these buttons? I've forgotten the buttons already. Oh, hello. It's a Nintendo Wii U, but I hear they're coming out with a new system soon. Okay, wonder what that could be. Nintendo NX? There's an ad for a new video game on TV. It's a Pokemon battle simulation game called Red and Blue Version. Ha, <laughs> meta. Okay, time to go. What's this thing? Tech booted up the PC, I remember these. What do you want to do? Item storage, we don't even need that right now. What am I doing? Mailbox, do we have any mail? There's no mail here. Okay, we'll just turn off the PC and go downstairs to visit auntie. Anyway, to celebrate your big day, I got you a present. Go ahead and open it. Okay, so let's open it. Attack obtained. Oh, was that running shoes? Um, the instructions on them read to run, hold Z. Okay. And toggle auto run in the menu. Sniffle. Oh. <laughs> So, are we off on our adventure? I think we are. Right, let's go. Is this Granny's bed? Yes, it is. <laughs> Why am I in it? Can I interact with the tree? Why am I trying to interact with the tree? What am I going to do with it? All right, let's get started, guys. Moki Town. Awesome. Hello. Oh, he doesn't want to talk to me. Talk to me. Oh, attack, you're leaving home, right? Here, have this. It'll help you on your journey. Don't eat it yourself. Obtained rare candy. Beautiful. Okay. What are we doing? Let's head down here. Who is this? Oh, I'm so jealous. You get to have your own Pokemon. My mama says I gotta wait till I'm older. Yep, you gotta be a big boy, big boy to have your own Pokemon. Oh, look at that thing. That's dope. Can I interact with it? No, come back. Stop running in circles. God damn it. Chin Chin. Okay, so I'm guessing his name's Chin. Professor Bambo has a lab in that house on the cliff. I wonder why he lives in Moki. Oh, Moki Town, of all places. Because there's like a Pokemon professor in every fucking town. Or at least every start of town. So you're going to be the big breadwinner now, eh, Dak? I should pop by to visit your auntie now and again. Do ho ho. Do ho ho? What in the fuck? Most of the Pokemon species found in Tandor are native to this region, but there are some which can be found in other regions too, like Mankey and Dunsparce. Hey, what up? Ooh. Where do you think you're going, huh? Are you trying to get to the lab before me? So you can get better Pokemon? No, Theo. Well, that ain't gonna happen, because I'm gonna get the strongest one first. Try to keep up, Attack. Oh, wow, really? It's not letting me move? Oh, come on, I gotta beat him. Alright. Bambo! Hey, if it isn't Attack! And, uh, your friend? Tommy, was it? Yeah. 
Attack, are you ready to take the trainer aptitude test? Yes, yes I am. Excellent, so without further ado, when you encounter a new kind of Pokemon in the wild, what is your first reaction? Attack it right away, wait and see what it does, or throw a Pokeball at it. Well, they don't call me attack for nothing. <laughs> Very good, both of you. Come on, that was easy. Give me a tougher one now. Okay, next question then. Which of these TMs would you prefer to teach your Pokemon? Hyper Beam. Protect. Hidden Power. Hyper Beam sounds dope. Hey, Professor. What's a TM anyway? Um, I'll tell you later. Let's move on with the next question, shall we? Which of the following Pokemon would win in an all-out battle? Definitely Gyarados. Come on, it has to be Gyarados. Is it possible to fail this test? Now it is... No, no it isn't. Now this is your final question. So answer it honestly. What is your motivation for becoming a Pokemon trainer? Becoming the very best? <laughs> Exploring the region? Making new, making new friends? Come on, it has to be becoming the very best. <laughs> Okay, I finished my analysis. Ooh, what have we got? What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? Come on, attack. Attack. You seem to be a trainer who won't hesitate to go for what you want. No, not at all. You prefer to overwhelm your opponents with sheer force and firepower. Hell yeah. The saying, the best defense is a good offense, is probably your mantra. Yeah, something like that. You have a burning spirit within you that never ceases. Damn right. For a defensive trainer like you, you Raptorch is the best pick. Well, I always do like my fire Pokemon. Just how I like my fire mixtapes. Am I right, boys? Am I right? There we go. Go ahead and take it, attack. Let's pick it up. Attack obtained Raptorch. Would you like to... Give a nickname to your Raptorch. Nah, I like to keep them all original, that way I can remember more of them. Hey, I'm tired of waiting. Attack got their starter already. When do I get mine? I'm done analyzing your results, Theo. Um. Okay. What's Theo got? Well, you certainly know what you want out of life. You're impulsive, impatient and care mostly about your own desires, but I sense something else in you. Could it be the seed of greatness? The potential to transform yourself completely? Or maybe it's that you're so young, I can't tell. Regardless, for a trainer like you, Orkinks is the best pick. Okay, so Theo, you got Orkinks. Is it Orkinks or Orchinks? I don't know. Actually, Chinks sounds better. Let's say Orchinks. Yes, my first Pokemon. Oh no, I know what's about to go down. Attack, you have a Pokemon, and I have a Pokemon too. You know what this means, right? We have to battle. Have to. That's a funny way of spelling it. Oh, please, not in the lab. Oh, shit's about to get real. Attack versus Theo. Rival Theo would like to battle. Rival Theo has sent out Orchinx. Go Raptorch. Ooh, okay. Hey, I like this GUI. It's pretty sexy. What do we got? Okay, let's fight, of course. Scratch, Growl, Ember. Whoa, he would be a grass type, wouldn't he? So, we might as well go with Ember. Ha! <laughs> it's super effective! Hell yeah! The foe or kings fainted. One shot. Raptorch gained 75 experience points. Attack defeated rival Theo. What? B -b -b but I was so supposed to win. But that got three hundred and fifty dollars for winning. You. But 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 how? I'm so supposed to be the b -b best trainer ever. That's impossible. Good trainers never lose. I I. <laughs> what a baby! Please don't cry, Theo. Here, I'll heal your Pokemon for you. Yeah, you better. Your Pokemon were healed. I I wanted to be an unbeatable trainer. How come I couldn't win? I really, really wanted to win. Well, dude, you just got to trust in the heart of the Pokemon. <laughs> well, between your starter and attacks, theirs has the type advantage. 
Water beats fire, fire beats grass, and grass beats water. That's the elemental type triangle. Well, one of them, at any rate. Learning to master type matchups is an important part of being a trainer. No way. I want to do over. How come attack gets the better starter? Wah, it isn't fair. Shut up, you fucking baby. I'm going to go home. Oh my god. What a puss. What a puss. Sigh. He cooked that harder than I hoped. But you shouldn't be so quick to judge him. He is just a kid after all. I expect he'll discover that training Pokemon isn't as easy as he imagined. I'm going out to entrance route 01 by the edge of town. Bring Theo and I'll teach you both how to catch Pokemon. See you there, attack. Alrighty guys, well I think we'll leave it here for our first episode. Thank you so much for joining me for part one on our Pokemon Uranium journey. It's been pretty awesome so far and I can't wait to see where it leads us. If you'd like to see more content like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like and comment if you'd like to let me know that you want me to make more episodes in this series. As always, thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you all next time. Over and out.